This is the Roldy Electric Skateboard. It's made out of carbon fiber, weighs 25 pounds, and has a 36 volt 14 amp hour battery. The ESC is protected by an aluminum plate, but I wrapped it. It's powered by dual 1500 watt belt driven D6368 motors. It has large 10 inch trucks for clearance and to support the large 195 millimeter wheels. I bought mine during a promotional event so it came with 4 extra belts and 2 extra wheels. This is the remote control, it's lightweight, has an LED and is rechargeable. So on my very first ride my board dies. Ah! 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 This begins my wonderful adventure with quality customer support. start testing the board with a voltimeter, I couldn't help but think of what this YouTuber had said. This is not something that a normal consumer is going to have to do. This is not something that a normal consumer is going to have to do. This is not something that a normal consumer is going to have to do. So, uh, you got, uh, you got my money? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll pay you soon. Yeah, well, um, here's a suggestion. Um, have the money by tomorrow and there won't be any problems. Huh? Yeah, 24 hours. Why? What, what happens in 24 hours? Eh? I don't know. Not psychic, man. I'm just saying it would probably be better for everybody if you had the money tomorrow. Yeah, all right, I'll see what I can do. Sweet, sweet, great. Don't forget! Nah, you're not gonna forget. So, uh, it's been 24 hours. Got my money? Oh, I, you know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh, oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. Oh, well, all right then. Mm, that's good, OJ. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that hurt? Ah! That hurt? What the hell? Yeah, it ah! feels so good, does it? Ah! No, ah! huh? Oh, oh! <laughs> Yeah, ah, that's what happens, ah, man. Oh my god! Yeah, that's ah, what happens. Ah, oh, ah, ah, Where's my money? Alright, let's do this. It was at this precise moment he realized he had given his viewers no backstory as to why he was reviewing an electric skateboard. Quick, let's give you a backstory. Way back in 2013, electric skateboards had just hit the scene. I was rocking a smooth, altered V600 with a super fat remote and a groovy charger, man. Had a heavy SLA battery, weighed 36 pounds, and had a massive range of 14 miles, my man. This has been a quick escape history of my 2013. Now we know. 
and knowing is half the battle. What I'm saying is that I wasn't comparing this board to another modern day board, but one that is almost 7 years old and still has all its original parts, the original battery and old 800 watt motor. This board sat in the garage at one point for 2 years and was never plugged in, and was able to charge right back up and still make it back and forth on my 14 mile test ride without dying. This is all without zero care and no maintenance. Aside from weight and aesthetics, it still performs very well. So how does the new Waldi board compare? Okay, now let's do this. Disregarding the clusterfuck ordeal I had to experience early on with my Raldi board, which was eventually attributed to a faulty battery that caused not one but two ESCs to malfunction, and the slow customer service, I still wanted to attempt to give a somewhat unbiased review. By this point in time I've ridden the board for over 200 miles. I've ridden it a few times off-road, but have come to realize that these electric skateboards that are coming out lately and are marketed as off-road boards shouldn't actually be taken off-road unless you want to completely trash your nice board in just a couple rides. I don't want to like make it dirty because it's you literally just got the board. While companies like to advertise these boards as off-road, they're simply not made of durable enough materials and typically don't have shocks to cushion the rough ride. Padded grip tape is not a solution. And if the board does have shocks, they all still lack enough power for true off-road riding for any acceptable time or distance. Off-road skateboarding usually only looks this good when you can cut away before a fall. Real off-road reviews look like this. plan on riding in the rain or through gnarly puddles, you'll want more protection than just the cover plate or wishful thinking. I applied a clear coat 3M wrap to the bottom of the board which protects the ESC plate completely and makes cleaning it easy. I'll leave a link to the wrap below. Regarding flex. Anyone who has ever raced a car knows that flexing and speed don't go together well. Electric boards that are made for speed should be made stiff to reduce speed wobbles at higher speeds. The Rualdi board is appropriately stiff. Giggity giggity. For the speed test, I find it best to attempt to hit the top speeds with a fully charged board on flat terrain. I'm 5'8 and weigh 65 to 70 kilograms, and I am able to hit the top speed of 28 miles per hour on the Raldi board, but only with a fully charged battery. Keep in mind that the board is designed and manufactured in China, where the country's average height of a male is 5'4 to 5'6 and typically slender. So far, I've been able to get 11 to 16 miles of range depending on my riding style, which is decent and slightly more than my old board at a fraction of the weight. The Raldi board charges back in 2 to 4 hours. The board rides great with the larger 195mm wheels and feels much smoother going over cracks and large bumps when compared to my altered board. In my opinion, I think that the Raldi board carves deep which may or may not be favorable to all riders. Overall, it's a decent board that could have had some early manufacturing issues and slow customer support. 
only time will tell how the board holds up. Thanks for watching my review. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like or subscribe. I appreciate it. Cheers.